why didn't you step into the water, you might ask. Well, my wedding shoes haven't arrived at the time, but they are here now. But forget about it, it's a whole nother story. Let's talk about waders. So, this somehow doesn't feel right. Wait up. Ah, much better. Ladies and gentlemen, weirdo I'm not gonna tell you about all the features, the patterned stuff they have because you've probably seen them already on the sim site or on the retailers videos. So I'm just gonna tell you what's new, what I haven't seen in those videos and what you might need to know before you buy them. First of all, why I went with the sims. One might say it is a little bit overpriced and expensive for a waiters that will eventually gonna leak anyways but if you take a look at the market right now the other manufacturers uh, top waiters are pretty expensive to almost the same prices as sims first of all i'm one meter 80 centimeters tall and weighing about 75 78 kilograms uh, i went with a medium classic size and uh, first of all i was looking at medium short because according to the sims chart measurements that you do around your waist and your hips and so on and so on uh, medium short supposed to fit me well but the guy who sold me those uh, told told me he's about the same build as i am and he's wearing a g3 medium and it fits him perfectly so I went with his advice, I took the medium size. It is maybe 3-4 centimeters too long for me. All the other measurements fit perfectly, but maybe they are a little bit too long because there are some wrinkles on the bottom tier of the legs. But I've decided to keep them because if you bend a lot, if you make a bigger steps, your seams is not stretching and that is a good thing and I think that will eventually be a bigger bonus than a downside for me. Now these waders are around 100 bucks cheaper or 70 euros cheaper than G3 and I've decided to save those 70 euros and spend them on shoes because my waiting shoes was beat up too. Now, where do they save this money? Uh, well, it's a three layer Gore-Tex instead of four layer on the bottom part on G3. But in the promotional video, they tell you that the leg part is a little bit strengthened with some material. And it's actually true, but not very accurate. And I'll show you why. If you take the leg part, the front of it is way thicker than the back end is and you can feel there is some kind of material in between the membranes of Gore-Tex and watching their videos you you would you would speculate that the whole lower part of the leg is somehow strengthened but it's not it's just the front uh, side I'm not too concerned about the, the back end being a little bit thinner and being less puncture resistant because still you're not walking backwards if you're gonna puncture something you're gonna puncture the front of your leg but there is a edge on the side of your leg where the thicker material ends and the Gore-Tex begins and I think this might be a rubbing place. I think that might be a weak spot. So keep this in mind. And because I never I haven't seen this information in any video. The build quality seems perfect. There, uh, there's nothing I can tell wrong about it. The seams look okay. There is nothing concerning there. One other thing 
uh, I don't like about these waders and I think Sims went over their head saving on this item there is only one guide for your belt and it's on the back meaning the belt is hanging on your spine basically and every time you unclip it it almost falls out of the guide and come on Sims you could have attached two more guides on these waders that would cost you like an one buck maybe I don't know and it's not a bad thing it's just annoying because you know how much these things cost and save on such a I don't know an important item for manufacturer but it just makes your day worse when you have to search for that belt somewhere laying on the ground maybe you will st step on your bucket and then it will break and you're gonna need to buy another belt it's just come on sims make two or three guides for your belt that's that won't cost you anything and it will save us a lot of nerve other difference from the G3 is the inside pocket this one seems a little bit simpler there's just one pocket uh, it is smaller I think it's not detachable although I never detach my po inside pockets because I usually keep my phone in it but so it's not a big deal for me I like the design of this mesh pocket uh, it has a fleece laying inside and uh, some soft material here in the pocket itself this pattern looks really cool for me I like the color in general I'm gonna make a count every time I go out with these waders I've been out already for four times and I'll see how long they will last me before they start leaking and the practically at the similar time my friend got himself a new pair of waders too a little bit cheaper brand but it has a five layer membrane it doesn't say what membrane it is but it's still five layers and you can feel that the material is very thick so we're gonna compare it in the end uh, how long it takes to for our waders to start leaking at basically $500 price range and $250 price range so we're gonna see if the difference in the price point is also a difference in the quality so I hope this video was helpful for you if you're looking for a similar priced uh, waders uh, maybe you want to consider these maybe not if you do I'll leave a link in the description where I got my waders from and I'm not sure but maybe they are able to ship it to Europe too and keep in mind that that page doesn't have all the items that they basically have in the store but don't be afraid to contact this guy on Facebook and he's gonna help you and he told me he might apply a 15% discount for you so keep that in mind I don't have anything to do with this I'm not sponsored by sims or by that shop they didn't gave me anything for this video that's just my opinions and I paid the full price myself uh, with a discount but it's my own money so take this as you want my next video will be about the fishing because I spent too much time making these past few videos I wanna get out on the water again and after that I think I'm gonna make one more video about my wading shoes because they just arrived and there's something to talk about too so stay cool stay hydrated drink some more water because it's so hot outside and I'll see you soon peace